Hello everyone. I thought I would share a short video regarding my thoughts on this crisis and what I have been doing over the last few weeks. I've now been working from home for almost three weeks. The first week when all the chaos started, there was a lot of panic like most of you. As for me, the thoughts were in regards to my family's well-being. Then my thoughts turned to the well-being of the business as a whole. Today, VE Healthcare employs almost 500 people. My thoughts were as follows. Would the business be okay? What impact would this have on our industry and our business? Could we sustain this business during the downturn and sustain everyone's job? This time frame, as most of you also experienced in your own ways, was a very frightful period. After a week of a lot of thought, troubleshooting, analyzing, and figuring things out, I became convinced that we would be okay for the most part. The next two weeks, I started to have a sense of calm and experienced a sense of gratefulness. Many industries have suffered much worse than ours. And as a result, many people have lost their jobs and it has affected their livelihoods. We all should consider ourselves extremely fortunate to be in the positions we are in. I'm proud to say that till date, VE has not made any changes to our workforce. Over the last few weeks, I've had time to read extensively. I've been joining online seminars about business and other topics to further educate and better myself. I've also had more time to spend with my family. I feel it is important we always try and find a silver lining in all situations. I would like to share my current outlook on this crisis, where I feel we may be heading. I'm quite confident that with today's pharmaceutical research and technology, it is a matter of time before there's an effective treatment and vaccine. I'm very hopeful that this may happen sooner rather than later. However, I do feel that the recovery of the economy and the behavior of people will take some time to come back to normal. I feel that a lot of social distancing measures will continue for quite some time to come. I also foresee that countries may have to have multiple lockdowns over the course of the next few months in order to contain the spread. Of course, it is impossible for anyone to know or predict. However, it's important we continue to plan and innovate how we function as a company, not just on a temporary basis, but also to evaluate what long-term changes may come out of this crisis as a whole. We must be ready to constantly adapt now and in the future. We need to start thinking of the medium and long-term changes that may come about. Even once things open up, do you think doctors will be willing to meet as many of our medical reps as they currently have been? Will doctors practice telemedicine more? If this is the case, how will prescriptions be given out? What changes can we make as an organization to support our doctors and customers and to stay engaged with them? Can we do educational events online, linking multiple doctors at once? What are the doctor's needs at this time? Do you think doctors will want to travel as much? Do you think online sales of nutraceuticals and pharmaceuticals will pick up because of this crisis? What new products can we explore? Can we possibly focus on immunity and hygiene products? Will the consumer behavior permanently change because of this crisis? These are just some of the questions that I've been thinking about. It is unclear how long this crisis may last or what long-term changes it may bring. However, I'm quite confident that V Healthcare Group will be fine and we will get through this. We must constantly stay on our toes and preempt possible shifts in our industry and business. We must make sure that we are always a few steps ahead of the curve. I hope you and your families are keeping well and staying safe. And I would like you all to put some thought 
into some of the points I've raised. Please feel free to share your views and I hope you all are taking care of yourselves. Thank you and take care.